So we need to section my uh, patient today because she has some nasal congestion uh, that will, um, will impede her ability to eat when mom is here. So we're gonna go and suction her. Um, the reason why we're gonna use a BBG, which looks like this is a little package, is because it's not as long as a normal suction catheter and it, pre and it permits less trauma to the baby's nose. Um, you don't stick it all the way in, it just kind of sits at the entrance and then you can suction that way. So first of all, we've got our supplies. We've got the, um, the suction catheter and itself, our normal saline bullet. We need um, a gloves, mask, and a gown, and then we'll put the rest of the supplies on when we're in the room. Um, and then we'll talk to them about what the procedure is. Okay, now we're ready to go. Hi mom, how are you doing today? I'm good. Good, my name is Rachel and I'm your baby's nurse. Okay. Um, I know it's about time for baby to eat, and, but she has some nasal congestion. I can hear, hear her breathing. It sounds like she has some um, secretions in her nose. So we're just gonna suck them out before she eats. Yeah. It doesn't take very long. Um, I just hook this end up to the suction here, okay. put a few drops of uh, normal saline in each side of her nose and suck it out and then we'll be done. Um, this just helps her breathe a little bit better so that she eats well. And also, I'm also seeing that her oxygen saturation is 90 right now, okay. which is good. However, it could be better. So we're going to suction and see if that helps. Okay. Yeah, I've noticed she's had a lot of secretions lately as well. She sounds kind of stuffy, right? Yeah. So we'll make sure that our suction is connected, which it is, and we'll turn it on. And we have to turn it to 80 to 100 millimeters of mercury here because she's a baby. So that's the right amount of suction for her size. And then I will put this um, end on here as well. And we'll turn up her oxygen a little bit to where it's make sure it's where it's supposed to be, which is at two, so that um, we can put it back on and she's getting the same amount. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off, put a few drops here, one, two, three, and then I'm going to come here and just suck it out a little bit. There we go. That's it. That side. So that didn't upset her too much, so I'll wait a minute, let her settle down a little bit, and then we will do the other side. And the other way that we can suction babies out is by holding the saline and the BBG at the same time, but holding suction so that it comes out almost immediately as it goes in. They don't really like that sometimes, but it works really well, so it will clear out most of the secretions that she has in her mouth. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. So I'm pressing and holding, there we go, there we go. Okay, good. That was good. So, just listening to her cry, she sounds better already, actually. I don't hear as much secretion. What we will do is make sure that her oxygen saturation comes up and that it works correctly. So I'm gonna turn this off and put her nasal cannula back on. And when her saturation is at 96, or 97, then we'll be ready to feed. Okay. Okay? So now I'm going to go document uh, the procedure. 